High Revs Media is sponsored by Born to Ride Motorcycle Magazine. Check out borntoride.com. working on the camper working on this awning from the aftermath of that last time camping in a storm I'm taking these off those are 10 millimeter and uh, both sides are broken we've got two new ones here and uh, put the parts links down in the description and everything but uh, you can grab those pretty simple put some caulking or, or silicone or something around them Make sure that uh, everything's nice and sealed. And we'll go ahead and put some on these bolts. I don't actually see any on the bolts here, but they laid on the ceiling up there. So uh, we'll add a little bit, see if we can get that figured out. All right, guys, so there's the broken one. Here's the new one, bolts that came in there. They obviously uh, completely fine. Um, and I don't have any white silicone so we'll just use this black just to put some on the bolts should be fine all right there it is you can see the black silicone down in there it's not going to hurt anything just kind of piled up around the end of the bolt and down on it um, and this looks fine that came right off pretty clean that's not going to leak anywhere the bolts were the only thing i was worried about that's on there pretty good the other side over here is this part that's where it just kind of snapped off of there. You see where it kind of matches that. This new one actually seems a little more heavy duty than uh, the original. Um, and then it comes with this pin, which I don't have the exact tool for, but we're gonna have to make something work. But now I gotta figure out how to get this pin out of here and drill it off or something. Let's cut that down and get to it. All right, guys, so we got the poles for the back pop out of the camper and it feels like you're like it, it looks flat but it, it when you lay on it it feels like it's laying down like you're about to roll out of it or the thing's about to drop and then on one of these it's crimped a tiny bit like it slipped out at one point in time but it, it, it seems stable but just to make it mo better we're gonna add in some steel pipe we got some stainless steel rod we're gonna feed inside this and inside this and then weld them all together. So this is gonna bring it up a little bit. And if it's too long, we can always trim it off. But I think it's gonna be about right to get us nice and level or even kicked in just a little bit. And it's gonna make it super strong down there where the base is. So I think it'll be pretty good. All right guys, so there is the end. We did have to come back and cut them off and uh got it exactly where we want it and now when this part lays down it's just slightly tilted up which i like because it was slightly tilted down which does not feel comfortable at all so now it seems a lot better so then it's going to work much better and uh we did get uh the top part fixed up here got the, the new pieces on all that's mounted correctly so we got uh, the other one done over here. So that's nice that those are done. And uh, got the, the hole in the, in the uh, canvas here taped up with just some RV tape, both sides. It's super sticky and vinyl and waterproof. So that should be fine. That'll work. All right, guys, here we are at Jenny's Creek Family Campground in Cleveland, Georgia. 
and uh, we're at spot 44 and we are right on the creek which is pretty neat i mean it's just right here and uh the people here are awesome super nice the little store they have up there is fantastic the prices are super cheap um other places we've been to it's just been crazy expensive out of convenience they charge you a whole bunch of money but here it's uh they're not trying to screw you over or nothing so it's kind of nice um uh, spots are real nice everything works power water this one doesn't have full up because we're next to the creek but uh overall it's a really good spot Doing so good. <laughs> Whoops. 